to rethink um, how we focus on some of the strategic, strategic research priorities for the country. Uh, there is a disconnect between the research capacity in universities and the research capacities that are needed for various sectors of our economy. Um, you would think that given, a, given the high cost of labor, given the nature of our economy, um, most universities in Australia would have a critical mass in robotics and automation research. Uh, it turns out that only two universities perhaps have any serious critical mass in this space. Um, and you have to wonder why this is the case. And, and there is a disconnect. Um, if you look at where businesses in Australia spend um, their R&D dollars and where universities spend their, their research, um, um, research funding, uh, then you can see why that disconnect is happening. Um, um, in some sense, more than three quarters of the business expenditure in R&D in Australia is in engineering and information and communication technologies. It is only 13% for the universities uh, based on the latest APS figures that we have available. And this disconnect is something that we have to address. The government has a role to play, the universities have a role to play, uh, and the businesses have a role to play. And I think we have done a very good job in Australia of having a broad research capability in a number of disciplines, which Australia must have if we are to be part of a globally innovative society. But we perhaps haven't done that good a job of understanding what the key strengths of Australia are, which sectors of the economy are important for Australia, and what are the ultimate innovations in technology that are going to be needed to improve productivity in these areas. And that strategic priority is going to be extremely important in, in aligning the university's capacity with the needs of, of Australian economy. And I think that's a development that, uh, that is long overdue.